In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear sisters and brothers, we are gathered as one family. Today, we celebrate the memorial of Saints Stanislaw, Bishop, and Martyr. We offer this Mass for each one of us gathered here for our particular and personal intentions and also those who are uh, joining us online. We entrust to the Lord our needs, our concerns, and we also pray for our particular and personal intentions. My dear sisters and brothers, as we prepare to celebrate the mystery of Christ's love, let us acknowledge our failures and ask the Lord pardon and strength. All together, I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly seen in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, and, and in what, what I have failed to do, to do through, my through my fault, fault through my fault, through my, through my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, I ask, ask Blessed as Mary, Mary ever virgin, virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, and sisters to, to pray, pray for, for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, for whose honor the Bishop St. Stanislaw fell beneath the words of his persecutors. Grant, we pray, that we may persevere strong in faith even until death. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the court officers had brought the apostles in and made them stand before the Sanhedrin, the high priest questioned them, We gave you strict orders, did we not, to stop teaching in that name? Yet you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching and want to bring this man's blood upon us. But Peter and the apostles said in reply, We must obey God rather than men. The God of our ancestors raised Jesus, though you had him killed by hanging him on a tree. God exalted him at his right hand as leader and savior to grant Israel repentance and forgiveness of sins. We are witnesses of these things, as is the Holy Spirit whom God has given to those 
who obey Him. When they heard this, they became infuriated and wanted to put them to death. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When they just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress, He rescues them. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit, He saves. Many are the troubles of the just man, but out of them all, the Lord delivers him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Please stand. You believe in me, Thomas, because you have seen me, says the Lord. Blessed are those who have not seen, but still believe. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The one who comes from above is above all. The one who is of the earth is earthly and speaks of earthly things. But the one who comes from heaven is above all. He testifies to what he has seen and heard, but no one accepts his testimony. Whoever does accept his testimony certifies that God is trustworthy. For the one whom God sent speaks the word of God. He does not ration his gift of the Spirit. The Father loves the Son and has given everything over to Him. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life, but whoever disobeys the Son will not see life. But the wrath of God remains upon Him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Before we begin our reflection this morning, uh, let us uh, welcome in our midst Reverend Monsignor Pedro Canyonero. He is the rector of the St. John Paul II Seminary in Antipolo City, the seminary where I came from. And uh, Dapat po talaga ay kasama niya ang mga bata because uh, today they will be having their day tour around Manila at uh, dahil sa traffic, <laughs> hindi po sila nakaabot sa ating misa and I think uh, malapit-lapit na po sila. Advance party lang po si Monsi at uh, nakasama po natin siya. And uh, uh, in a little while, uh, they, they will be with us already, the, uh, the, the seminarians of the seminary. Kaya... 
uh, we all welcome in our midst uh, Monsignor Peter Canyonero. Welcome po, Monsi. Sa isang usapan po ng mga magkakaibigan, kapag po bumitaw ng mabibigat na salita o sabihin po natin mga salitang medyo may lakas ang isa sa mga nag-uusap, siguro po minsan nasabi po ninyo o natanong nyo po ang taong ito. Napakalakas naman ng hugot mo. O kaya matatanong tayo, saan ka nang gagaling dyan? O ano yung pinanggagalingan mo? Bakit mo sinabi yan? When we do speak about something or someone, it is also good to know where we are coming from. Siyempre po bilang mga pari, inaasahan po ninyo na ano man po ang ibahagi namin sa misa o kaya ano man po ang aming ibahagi sa inyo pag tayo ay nagkadaupang palad, maliban po ito ay galing sa aming mga talino, ang hugot po nito sana sa tinatawag nga natin ay ang hugot nito ay galing sa aming pananalangin at inspirasyon mula sa Diyos. At sa anuman po ang gawin natin sa buhay, kahit kilalanin natin na galing ito, po, galing ito sa mga galing natin, galing po ito sa ating kakayahan, lahat ng ito ay nag-uugat sa Diyos. And that is why we are saying, doing, and living beautiful things, all because all of this came and roots from the love and from God Himself. We've heard how the apostles preached and how would one way or another show their intense passion in the midst of their consistent persecution to them. And we've heard, we've heard how Jesus Himself makes His life and the presence known by opening the eyes of everyone from where He comes, from where He came from. Ganun na lamang yung kanilang pananalita dahil alam nila kung saan ito nagmumula. They have inspired and opened minds of people because what they say are things and are inspirations coming from God. And it is our prayer that what beautiful things or words that would come from us would come from the goodness of God. May masasabi po tayo sa bawat isa. Maihaharap din po natin ang Diyos sa kanila. Masasabi natin ito na ay nag-uugat sa magandang pinagmumulan. And the apostles spoke of the Lord well because they knew well where they are coming from. Sabi ko nga po, Bibitaw tayo ng mga salita na sasabihin natin araw-araw. May mga actuations tayo na makikita ng bawat isa. They, we will all express things in one way or another. Maganda na sana nagmumula ito mula sa isang banal na pakikitungo sa Diyos. On how we deal, on how we live, Hopefully, these things would stem and root from God. And as we continue with life, my dear brothers and sisters, let us remind ourselves with this fact. We are all from the Lord. And from our being from the Lord, then 
we all inspire each other, share a good deed, uplift people, and bring people back to the Lord. Please stand. Prayer of the Faithful We who receive the divine life of Jesus are called to live fully in accordance with His teachings. In every prayer, our response, Lord, pour out Your Spirit. Lord, pour out Your Spirit. That the Church, through its leaders, may take up with courage the challenge of constant conversion and renewal. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord pour, pour out, out your spirit. spirit. That the state may be committed in its effort to bring quality service to the citizenry. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord pour, pour out, out your, your spirit. spirit that we may never close our hearts to those in need, but consciously involve ourselves in Christ's work of healing and reconciling. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord pour, pour out, out your spirit, spirit, that all who are struck with incurable disease may be strengthened in their faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, pour, pour out your, your spirit, that the healing grace of God may purify those who have died. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, pour, pour out your, your spirit. In the silence of our hearts, let us entrust to the Lord our particular and personal intentions. Father, your only Son took on human life in order to share your divine life with us. Grant us faith to believe firmly in Him so that we may always live responsibly as your children. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we celebrate in honor of the precious death of your just one, O Lord, we come to offer the sacrifice from which all martyrdom draws its origin through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere 
to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr, Saint Sanislaus, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works by which in our weakness you perfect your power and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. Huh. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Please. mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the Word, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body and one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Stanislaus, with Saint John Paul II, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence 
we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As one family of God, let us all pray together the prayer Jesus himself has taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. She await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your friends, Peace, I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share in our great Saturday the peace of Christ. Peace be with you. Peace. Lamb of, Lamb of God, God you, take you take away, away the sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear friends, this is our Lord Jesus Christ, the, the risen Lord, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, happy are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. We have received your heavenly gifts, rejoicing at this feast day, O Lord. Grant, we pray, that we who in this divine banquet proclaim the death of your Son may merit to be partakers with the holy martyrs in his resurrection and his glory, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. So on behalf of uh, the seminary, St. John Paul II Minor Seminary of the Diocese of Antipolo, I, together with my formators, uh, Father J.P., Father Paolo, Sister Eileen, and Sister um, Sher uh, Cheryl, together with our community, with the seminarians and staff, I would like to thank First, Monsignor Roli de la Cruz, and also our director, and also our vice director, Father Biel Bautista, for allowing us to offer Holy Mass, the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass here at the cathedral, and also for showing us the place after this Holy Mass. Again, Father Biel, thank you very much. Palakpakan natin sila. Salamat po sa inyong pag-welcome sa amin dito. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May I ask Father Biel to join me in giving the blessing. And may the loving God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go and glorify the Lord by your life. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Regina Jenny.